மை டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ராஜசேகர் கிளாஸஸ் ஆன் அப்ளைட் டேட்டா சயின்ஸ் வித் பைத்தான் திஸ் இஸ் லெக்சர் நம்பர் டூ எயிட் ஜீரோ இன் திஸ் லெக்சர் வி வில் ட்ரை டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் கிராஸ் வேலிடேஷன் லெட் மீ ரீகால் லெட் மீ ரீகால் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் லெக்சர் தட் இஸ் லெக்சர் நம்பர் டூ செவன்டி நைன் ஸோ வாட் டிட் வி டூ இனிஷியலி வி டுக் அவர் ஹோல் டேட்டா செட் டிஎன் இன் டூ லெட் மீ சே திஸ் கேபிட்டல் டிஎன் இஸ் மை ஹோல் டேட்டா செட் வி ஆர் ப்ரோக் இட் அப் இன்டூ டூ பார்ட்ஸ் மை ஃபஸ்ட் பார்ட் லெட் மீ சே திஸ் இஸ் டி ட்ரைன் மை செகண்ட் பார்ட் இஸ் டி டெஸ்ட் லெட் மீ சே திஸ் இஸ் டி டெஸ்ட் வாட் இஸ் த யூஸ் ஆஃப் டி ட்ரெயின் ஃபர் கேஎன்என் டு கம்ப்யூட் என்என் தட் இஸ் நியரஸ்ட் நைபர்ஹுட் வி யூஸ்ட் டி ட்ரெயின் டு கம்ப்யூட் கே வி யூஸ்ட் டி டெஸ்ட் லெட் மீ அசியூம் திஸ் இஸ் ஈக்வேஷன் பி ஆன் த அதர் ஹேண்ட் லெட்ஸ் டேக் an alternative strategy which is as follows let's take our whole data set dn this is my whole data set dn and let's break it into three pieces my first part is let me say d train my second part is let me say dcv my third part is let me say d test cv means what cv means cross validation let me assume this equation as equation number c imagine i broke just cap this one imagine i broke this partition dn into d train and d test and and another one is c according to b i i partition my dn into two sets whereas according to equation c we partitioned into three sets what does it mean from c from c means from this one from c suppose if i compute my nearest neighbor that is nnn using d train let me say i am calculating nearest neighbor by using d train imagine if i compute my k using cross validation i am calculating k by using cross validation see remember i am not using d test to compute my function what is my function my function is combination of nn that is nearest neighborhood and k this is my function its combination of n n and k so to compute my function in this case in the case of b in the case of b to compute my function means f is k and n n to compute my function in the case of b i used both d train i used both d train and i used both the d train and d test here in the case c just observe in the case c i am going to use only d train and dcv d train dcv means cross validation to compute my function what is my function here nearest neighbor nearest neighbor and k that is k n n i can say i am going to use only d train and dcv with the help of d train i can calculate nearest neighbor with the help of dcv i can calculate this hyperparameter k isn't it computing my I, i will apply this function and i will apply my f after computing this function what is my function k n n k n n is my function isn't it after calculating i will apply this function and i will apply this function f on d test i will apply this function f on which data set on d test to get an accuracy 
how what will I, what will I get by applying by applying this function f on d test I will get accuracy isn't it in this particular case in the case of c when I when I am finding my function or algorithm I did not use t test observe carefully in the case of c in the case of c for finding my function my function is k n n for finding my function I did not use t test we are finding nearest neighbor by using d train we are finding k using d cross validation I did not use d test I only used d train and d cross it cross validation this d train and d cross validation i did not used i did not used d test that's that's a very important idea isn't it i did not used d test to compute my function because f has two parts k n how many parts f is having two parts k and n n isn't it i did not used d test at all I did not even see D test. I did not even see D test for calculating my function f. Remember, D test not seen to compute my f, which means, which means, let me rewrite otherwise. Let me say like this. Let me say like this. How can I say? Just initially what I did. Let me rewrite like this. Let me say this is my D n. This D n is partitioned into D train. Initially, what I did, D train and D test. Now, this D train we used D train to calculate nearest neighbor. We use D test to calculate K. Isn't it? What's happening here? This is f of k n n isn't it that let me assume this is equation f let me assume like this now what am i am i doing here my d n is here i am splitting this d train into d c v into another set d test let me say d train is used to find nearest neighbor d c v is used to find k this is this both with the help of these two things i can calculate f k n n i did not use i did not did not use used did not used d test to calculate my function f on d test is used after finding function by using function f i can calculate accuracy on d test now when i break my capital d n into three pieces that's what it says if i use these two which one d train and d c v to compute if i use these two sets d train and d c v means cross validation to compute my function f that is f k n n i can say like this f k n n and i am using cross validation set what is the use of cross validation set i am using cross validation set to compute k isn't it and training set i am using training set to calculate n n that is nearest neighbor d test becomes an unseen data it become an unseen data isn't it why because we have not seen d test to calculate my f isn't it because i have not seen this d, d test data while computing f i have not seen d test data while computing f i have only i used only d train and d c v to calculate my f that is f k n n i used only these two data sets isn't it now if now if ever if if i take each point let me let me rewrite this one yes otherwise let me write here now now if i take each point xi in d test now if i take 
each point xi in d test this is let me say query point isn't it i will repeat if i take each point xi in d test right as xq my xi is xq in on my d test my accuracy let me say on d test my accuracy is let it be 93% because it is unseen data that you must understand then can i say here one question is here let me ask like this can can i can i now say can i now say now say that my that can i can i say now can i say that what is the question here say that my algorithm my algorithm my algorithm that is my seven nearest neighbor let me say knn means seven nn has an accuracy has an accuracy has an accuracy of 93 percent of 93 of 93 percent of 93 percent on unseen data on unseen data this is my question can i can i now say that my algorithm seven nearest neighbor has an accuracy of 93 percent on unseen data is it not valid question i can write i can write i i, I can say right because d test is unseen yes i can say that yes it's possible why because your d test is unseen data while computing f isn't it this d test is unseen data while computing f therefore you can this claim may be valid this claim can be correct isn't it as let me say like this can i now say this 7nn has an accuracy that is my question can i now say that my algorithm 7nn has an accuracy of 93% on unseen data unlike the previous case what is my previous case this is previous case f f is previous case this is previous case in the case of this is previous case isn't it in the in the case of f that is in previous case we used d test data to compute f but in alternative strategy in this particular strategy we never used d test to calculate to calculate f i have seen both in previous case what happened in this case what happened i have seen both d train and d test to compute my f just say to compute my f d what is the use of d train i use d train for calculating nearest neighborhood d test for calculating k any accuracy that i computed on d test is same data still not still still not unseen but if i break it up into three parts but if i break it up into three sets or if i break it up into three parts what's happen if i break into two parts this d test is already already seen data but if i break into d train d cross validation d test anyway for calculating my f i have not used d test therefore while finding accuracy d test is an unseen data i get the seen data and unseen data in the case in this particular case in this case i have seen data as well as unseen data now the answer for this question this is my question answer for this question is is yes 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 i can i can say because yes it's it's possible because my d test what is my d test is also unseen that's important uh, d test is also unseen is also unseen this is what we called cross validation very very fundamental concept in whole of machine learning this is very very fundamental concept in whole of machine learning cross validation i can say like this cross validation let me write otherwise let me write this one cross validation cross validation cross validation is just is just about 
is just about is just about making just about making some data making some data unseen some data unseen and some data some data seen some data seen now what we will do this is important cross validation is just about making some data unseen and some data seen now what we will do we will break our dn we will we will break our dn into three sets let me say this is d train this is d train this is dcv let me assume 60% data is in d train 20% data is in d cross validation d test d test is let me assume 20% data not necessarily this one even you can say this is 70% you can keep in d train 10% you can keep in d cross validation remaining 10% you can keep d test not necessarily this one you can keep 70 10 20 also people will break up data randomly how we are breaking this data we are breaking up randomly we will see some cases where it is not randomly in next few lectures i will discuss so now what will we do i will train my data my data my data i will train my data using d train i will train by using d train to compute to compute right k for nearest neighborhood d train for compute right k i will use i will ke i will keep changing k equal to 1 to n let me say like this otherwise let me say like this this is my k let me keep values let me say k equal to 1 2 3 so on n isn't it just changing let me say i will keep changing k equal to 1 2 3 4 so on like this like this but on y axis i will use accuracy on dcv this is important this is important on y axis what you are taking accuracy on dcv this is important here i am not using not d test here i am not using d test i am using d cross validation i am using d cross validation let's assume i get a curve like this let me assume this is the curve i let me assume I have got curve like this if I plot I get curve like this let's assume this is my best k somewhere here let me assume this is my best k just let me assume this k equal to 7 let me assume let it be let 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 it be let assume my best k my best k is 7 now my function is 7 n n isn't it this is this seven this number seven this seven comes from it comes from where from cross validation that's the important here isn't it in this nearest neighborhood this nn this nn comes from my this nn nn come from it is coming from d train d train and this k equal to seven i am getting from dcv that is my cross validation data isn't it isn't it nn nearest neighborhood comes from my training data now i will apply this 7 nn now i will apply this 7 nn function on my on my test test data on my d test i will apply this particular 7 nn function on my test data and i will get my act my actually on test data let's assume accuracy on my test data is 93 percent now i will conclude and i say that using d train let me say like this using d train using d train using d train as training data as as training data as training data i found I found I found 7 nn 7 nn 
isn't it? 7nn to have, of course, training data means for nn, this 7 is by using cross validation, that is by using d cross validation to have, to have an accuracy of, to have an accuracy of 93 percent, 93 percent on, on future, on future or I can say unseen data, unseen data because this is what matters. What is the reason? While calculating accuracy, my d test is unseen data, isn't it? Performing well, performing well. Perf reason is this 93 percent how I calculated on d test, which is not seen by calculating my f knn. By calculating my f that is knn, I have not seen d test. Isn't it? Therefore, on future data, on unseen data, I can expect that accuracy of my KNN is 93%. Performing well, performing well on unseen data is what matters in whole of machine learning. Performing on future data, that is important, isn't it? This is called, let me say, this 93%. This 93% is called, let me write otherwise like this, this 93%, this 93% is called my generalization. If my accuracy is, my accuracy is 93% on unseen data, if I am getting accuracy 93% on unseen data or on future data, I can say this is called my generalization accuracy. This is called my generalization accuracy. What I have discussed right now, one of the simplest ideas, there are many, many modifications to generalizations. I can say 7%. I can say 7% how I get, how I am getting this 100 minus 93, isn't it? Is my generalization error. It is generalization, generalization error, isn't it? That is generalization error. This is an error on future, this is an error on future or this is an error on future unseen data. This is an error on future unseen data. This is whole, this is whole, this is whole concept of, this is whole concept of cross validation this is whole concept of cross validation very very fundamental idea on uh, uh, this i can say very very fundamental idea in whole of machine learning in my next lecture we will try to understand one more important concept in machine learning that is k fold k fold k fold cross validation thank you very much